Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you talking about each one of those characters. They were characters that I idolized because, to me, they were real. Back then, things were not as bad. They didn't do a bunch of drive-bys and, and all of that kind of stuff. Things was, you know, you know, you was a man about it. You, you threw your hands up. You didn't go run and get a gun. You know what I'm saying? But uh, didn't JJ go get a gun? Yeah. Uh, Michael, one of them went and got a gun. Yeah, yeah, on one of them episodes, I think one of them went and, and got and a gun. And Michael was trying to be a banger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he found out I mean, that what was that one, it, you know. Exactly. But, you know, you, you got Florida in there uh, praying to that porcelain god, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you got, you know, uh, JJ is silly and ignorant. Don't shit he say makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, every now and then they give him a soft spot wherein he stand up to his father to you know in his sister's honor. You know, he he was he was he was standing up for his sister, and you know, uh, that didn't make much sense to me. You know, due to the fact that JJ's part that he played his 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 constant role was that of being an ignorant ass horse ass little boy. So you know, so when they would give him serious roles and stuff like that. You know, I couldn't hardly get with it, but I did. But we liked, we all liked J.J. Hey, Dino Mike. You know, mm -hmm. we all liked that, you know, because J.J. was just, that was just mm -hmm. part of the family. Then you got Michael the militant midget. That's right. That was my dude. Oh, so that yeah. Like he was up. very, he was highly educated, and he was very much self-aware about his history and who he was, and he was confident. So everybody was drawn to Michael, and Michael was mainly respected you know he was he was really respected and his innocence remained intact even when he would venture off and 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 with girls and stuff like that he was just always looked at as the baby the smart little baby that we hope that's gonna make it up out of here become a lawyer or something like that because he was just so highly intelligent and for you know it, people often equate black with failure they really do. So when you see a young black guy like that, you know, just educated and confident and, you know, doing the right thing, staying out, he's respected. He's considered, uh, 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 what you call it, he's damn near extinct today. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, all our kids is selling dope, you know, uh, rapping about nonsense. You know, you got a little money, you can get, you know, the, the, the talent is real shaky today. Mm -hmm. Back then, you know, artists like Stevie Wonder and, you know, uh, all of, all your Marvin. great black, oh, Marvin Gaye, uh, Smokey Robs out, you know, they had, to, they had to have talent for real in order to get on the mic. You know, you can sing on that corner with them off ass, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Notes and shit all day, but if mm -hmm. you're not gonna make it up in Motown and none, none of that, you're not finna do none of that. You gonna have to, you gonna have to sock it to me, you know. And so, you know, but today they take, they get up in the studio and the studio fix up their voice and shit like that. You know, that's, it's all the technology today is, <clears throat> you know, technology is something else now. It's something else. Oh, uh, it's it's highly advanced. And, I mean, they got some tricks for you. you yeah, they got some tricks. Wait, wait, wait. Now get to Alona. Well, Walona, she was my favorite. Your favorite. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely idolized. Nothing was better. Nothing was sexier. Nothing was, nothing topped Walona Woods. I truly love this because she was a strong black woman. She was independent. She didn't need no man for nothing. You know what I'm saying? She desired, oh yeah, she had that sexy pizzazz and she could stand up to anybody and be noticed. Oh, uh, you know, Thelma, she was sweet and innocent, real sexy and sassy and all that. But I like, I like, don't get me wrong now, don't get me wrong, I like Thelma a lot. But the one that I was most drawn to was Walona because she had a nurturing side. You know, she desired to have a little girl because I always wanted a little girl. And I always wanted to look sexy and, and have an office job and and take my baby to the daycare and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, and I, I wanted to be like she was with Penny because she was such a wonderful mother. She just, I mean, for that not to have been her own, she was very compassionate. You know, uh, I just, just, I mean, that was a, that, she was real. You know, she was my auntie. She was real. She was real to me. I really really enjoyed Walona. Now James, oh, he meant well and everything in Florida. Yeah, we all know, you know, 
uh, she meant well, you know, uh, but, you know, she just went just too damn far with the let's do everything right and, <laughs> you know, let's pray to this porcelain God. And, you know, she, you know, she floated and won't shit. No, Floyd, Floyd, all she wanted to do was make sure that there was a pot of neck bones on the stove and some grits. And, and <laughs> as long as they all stayed together, you know, even though they was cramped in that two-bedroom ass project ass part, you know, JJ and, and Michael sleeping together, you know, and shit like that on the couch. Because it ain't enough room and shit, you know. I guess she got to stay there for a due to the fact that can't nobody get up on uh, get up on no money or, you know, James, you know, is working sometime and sometime he not and shit like, hey, I don't know, <clears throat> you know, they, they was a real family and they had <clears throat> the real set of problems just like the ones do, you know, in life, you know, and so that thing, man, I could feel her every time she got up and went to the kitchen and and put on that lumpy ass oatmeal and shit. I could I could feel Thelma when she did that. And you know, when they mama would fix neck bones and chicken and shit like that. And that one time when Gertie, when they thought that Gertie was eating dog food, you know, they had her up. You know, they was always a real compassionate family and very well mannered and well spoken. JJ, he was hoish, but he had a limit. He knew not to do different shit because he know James was gonna get in his ass. You know, they you really uh, you know, you would, ones that received good times, they really was in that family, in life. They really was in that family. You know, so, hey, I tip, tip my head off to uh, okay. Esther. May she rest in peace, you know.